In today's video, we're gonna talk about a bunch of new Blender add-ons, an update to the popular ones, which got even better. From hard surface modeling, cloth simulation, UV mapping, simulation, and so on. And let me tell you, this one is packed, so you don't want to miss it. Without further ado, let's jump right in. We're gonna start with Quick Attach, which is a handy modeling tool for sticking one mesh onto another mesh surface. The add-on is small, but it can automate a very repetitive process in modeling. So if you've ever struggled with using booleans or shrink wrap to attach details, like panels or greebles to a curved object, Quick Attach can do that on the fly. You can just select a face on your target object and a face on the source object, and Quick Attach will align and merge the geometry, even bending it to fit curved surfaces or multiple selected faces, using the last active face as the target. It cleans up any internal faces, so the result is a solid unified mesh. And I think it is great for adding extra elements to things like our surface models, cars, or sci-fi props without the usual hassle. So no manual modifiers are needed, and it directly attaches to the target surface, and it even has a raycast option to project your mesh onto a surface for easy placement. On the other hand, Cascade Plus turns cloth simulation into a drag and drop experience. It is essentially a library of over 100 handcrafted, pre-baked cloth simulation, which you can instantly add to your scene. Think waving flags, curtains fluttering, sails billowing, and so on. You just pick one and spawn it in your scene at the cursor, and it plays immediately, with no baking or waiting. And the new Cascat Plus updates enhance the UI with smart search and organization. The add-on suggests simulations as you search, and even color codes them by wind intensity to help you find the perfect motion. You can also layer and mix multiple simulations, and it all runs seamlessly, since these are pre-simulated assets. And even though the sims are baked, you are not stuck with the default look, because the add-on lets you tweak things like shape and position using lattice modifiers, so you can bend or stretch the imported cloth to better fit your scene if needed. So this can be a massive time saver for adding cinematic cloth effect into your scene. The next add-on is called Jiggle Gen, which is like having a personal assistant for adding jiggle physics to your characters. So instead of manually setting up a bunch of cloth simulations or wiggle bounds for every floppy part, like hair, ears, belly, clothes, and so on, this add-on does the heavy lifting by generating proxy simulation meshes and managing them for you. The workflow is super straightforward. You paint a vertex group on the parts that you want to jiggle, pick a preset, for how bouncy or stiff you want it, and hit generate. Then the add-on creates the necessary cloth simulation and collision objects under the hood, and hooks them with the surface deform modifiers, so your original mesh follows along with a jiggle motion. It even supports batch operations, meaning you can set up every jiggle part on the character in one go, like ears, hair, cloth, and so on. And it will organize everything neatly in separate collections with features like an integrated preset library, automatic naming and parenting, and baking for all the simulations. And I think this can drastically speed up the process of giving your characters nice physics simulations on the go. Now we're gonna talk about a new free Blender add-on called Damage. It basically lets you wrap up your models with realistic chips and worn edges in no time. As you might expect, it is a geometry node-based damage system that kind of eats part of the mesh starting from the sharp edges, creating an authentic weathered look, similar to real damage or the one-click damage add-on, but this one has less features. Nonetheless, it is super easy to use. Just drag and drop the modifier onto the object and watch it non-destructively chew up the mesh to simulate damage. You can dial up or down the intensity of detail, I mean the detail of the effect. So whether you want subtle chipped corners or a full-on battered prop, I think this add-on got you covered. Now we're gonna talk about Divine Cut, which got an update in version 4. Divine Cut is like having a mini marvelous designer inside Blender. You can generate a garment outline with simple guides, called Divine Circles, then apply a preset to instantly turn it into a finished piece. Current presets include things like a puffer jacket, varsity jacket, or shirt. It also comes with intuitive painting tools that lets you shrink wrap parts of the cloth to your character, and you can also paint areas like waistbands or cuffs, and add pressure to puff areas, and smooth out some other regions. This can be super useful for fine-tuning the fit and style. 
The latest version for update brings in some awesome new features, like a one-click jumpsuit and kimono generator, in addition to improved algorithms for shirts and t-shirts, and the ability to add colors and hoodies to your clothing in a very short period of time. Still with updates, this time with Tear Painter, which is a great tool that lets you add realistic rips and frayed holes to your 3D fabrics as easily as painting with a brush. It is procedural, meaning it generates all the ragged edges, dangling threads, and fonts for you, with lots of sliders to tweak the look, like thread length, density, gravity droop, noise, you name it. There are even presets for different materials, like burlap, denim, etc. So you can quickly get a torn jeans look versus a threaded cloth look. And the recent update in version 1.2 made it even cooler. The Anno now supports animated or simulated meshes, which means you can paint tears on a cloth while it is moving. This is perfect for dynamic destruction in an animation. They also added features like fabric thickness control and other improvements, which I think will make it a fantastic high detail tool when you need to give your characters a cloth with some dynamic wear and tear. There is also a new add-on called Gobos Master. It basically hands you a library of pre-made light patterns called Gobos to instantly add realism to your scenes. And it comes loaded with over 190 high-quality Gobo textures spread across 13 categories, covering everything from leafy canopy shadows to window binds projections and many even include looping animations for dynamic moving light effects. It is not just convenient, it is efficient too because instead of adding actual tree models or window objects just to get complex shadow patterns, which would slow down your renders, this add-on uses light textures to do the job, and in only a second or two per frame to your render time. The next one we're gonna talk about is called Asset Brush, which is a new handy scattering tool which I think can turn the process of building scenes and scattering objects into a fun process, just like painting with a brush. It is essentially a continuation of the old asset sketcher add-on, updated for Blender 4 and beyond, and it basically lets you place assets in your scene by painting them in the viewport, and you get different brush modes, like freehand paint, line strokes, grid placement, and even the scaling mode, and you can rapidly populate the scene with objects in neat rows or organic spreads. The add-on uses one global setting profile, for things like random scale, rotation, basing, and alignment, which keeps all your painted assets consistent. It also organizes assets by categories for you. For example, you can have a category for trees, one for rocks, one for buildings, and so on. And you can quickly filter or delete items, I mean items for category if needed. The good thing, it integrates directly with Blender's asset browser, so you can right-click an asset and send it directly to Asset Brush. Last but not least, we have OK and Wrap which is a fully automatic, curvature-based UV unwrapping add-on. In simple terms, it's gonna help you unwrap UVs on a model when doing it manually would be too time-consuming or tedious. The add-on analyzes your mesh shape and generates smart scene placements and UV islands for you, aiming to give a better result compared to Blender's built-in unwrap. And it is great for things like auto-unwrapping lots of assets on very complex models, and some users have tested it on meshes with hundreds of thousands of triangles, and according to them, it completed the task successfully. The UV layouts it produces tend to minimize tiny, wasteful islands to make efficient use of space, which helps a lot with packing and baking textures later. And there you have it guys, if you like these add-ons, you will find all the necessary links in the description. I hope you guys found this video useful and informative, if you did, please give it a thumbs up, also please subscribe to the channel to receive more videos like this. Thank you very much for watching, and I will see you in the next one.